Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. We got the big announcement yesterday, guys. Player of the Month, Mbappe, is going to be an SBC that is coming soon, but he's also getting an inform today. How is that going to pack his Player of the Month price for the SBC and rating that's going to be coming out next week? Do we need to invest? Do we need to wait? We have to talk about some fodder today and all the changes that all of that news means and take a look into content today. Are we getting an icon player SBC today that might actually make some of that fodder go up or will it not be a hype icon and will prices actually go down? We're gonna talk about fodder, we're gonna talk about content today, a new team of the week, and what else to expect on a Wednesday in FC24. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's Tuesday content. We had the duel. NWSL end of an era SBCs. It was as leaked Megan Rapino getting an 88 rated card end of an era. They gave her the finesse shot plus and that of course makes a card instantly overpowered guys. This is the most disliked card ever in ultimate team history on foot, but I think it's got north of 38,000 dislikes right now. It has nothing to do with the card in the game. It has to do with people's opinions of her in real life. If you look at this card and forget about all the real life stuff, which is probably what we should do because this is a video game, right? But regardless, four star, five star with the finesse shot plus with solid stats elsewhere on the card and only 100,000 coins. There's a reason why NWSL prices for the most meta cards like Alex Morgan and for Sophia Smith are going up at like crazy because this dynamic duo of the end of an era cards is kind of nice. Ali Krieger as a center defensive mid, that's the best part. She can play center back, but really center defensive mid, I think is the best place for this card. Being five foot six with the aerial playstyle plus almost feels like a little bit of a waste. I haven't used her card. I don't know. Uh, but the price here is it kind of makes it worth it. The confusion of what the playstyle plus is here for because at five foot six, she's probably not probably not winning too many headers. But I guess at least when she does, she's going to be able to get up and perform those higher jumps and have greater aerial physical presence. I don't know. I kind of want to just do the SBC to try this card out. It is very cheap. 43,000 coins for Krieger and 100,000 coins for Rapino, and it is making prices move. We take a look at Sophia Smith. And some of these other NWSL cards, like I mentioned, these prices have just absolutely exploded. This is something you often see when there are players from a non top five league that get really good SBCs that people want to do and put them into the team just to try them out, right? These are nice cards. They're cheap. People want to try them out. And then what do they have to do? Go out to the market and buy the best players that link to those brand new players. And that's why they go up in price. I mean, the gold Sophia Smith went from 27,000 coins all the way to 50k right now like that is that is crazy what a rise for them and uh a nice set of sbcs to be honest i don't know if i'm gonna do either of these but they are both usa so i feel like i should but we will see that was a lot of commotion yesterday was caused by those two player sbcs now also yesterday the bigger commotion than sbc that probably just about every single person did is the 84 plus rttk or trailblazers upgrade pack which came in at a cheap but also not cheap price of a team of the week in an 83 rated squad. I say not cheap because, yeah, an 83 rated squad seems really cheap until you add on the fact that you need an inform, and informs are 35,000 coins. These are undercuts right now for cards that have a 30k max price range that you see these here. They're actually 35k selling all the ones at 30k. That's their max price. Informs are too expensive, man. GG's, if you've been trading with them, they've been an incredible place to make coins in the past week. I know people who have made tons of coins on Informs because of EA continually requiring them in SBCs, but not bringing their supply up on the market by dropping a tradable Team of the Week pack, which I think is something that they are going to probably do during the next week. Guys, during Black Friday, I think it's every year during Black Friday, we get a tradable Team of the Week pack upgrade, right? We've had the 82 plus player pick, which is a way to get an untradable Team of the Week, but this is a 30,000 coin SBC. Team of the Week shouldn't be 30k, in my opinion. So I think EA is going to have to do something soon about Team of the Weeks. If you still have those, if you're trading with them, they're, they're great to trade with every single day when we have SBCs that require Team of the Weeks. They bounce even higher. They fluctuate great like they have in the past couple of days. But we're getting towards the point where I would say try to be pretty careful with those because 35,000 coins is a lot. Now, also with that SBC, we do have some other fodder moving. 
82s, our favorite lazy selling fodder 82s have gone from 750, basically discard. They're selling now for 900 easy to get lazy sales on if you bought any of these at 700 early in the week you might even be able to list for like 1.3 1.4 but easily 1.1 to 1.2 you should be getting some lazy sales so it's that low tier of fodder that's doing nice 83s as well yesterday went up because again it's an 83 rated squad these guys went from 1.4 to 1.7 1.8k so w rises there the rest of the fodder market is just kind of chilling and we're going to talk about fodder here again in just a little bit now to round out the content yesterday we did have another um, objective slash sbc kind of combination for one of the i think last um squad foundations of the year guys squad foundations like Ravelli does not look bad robert doesn't look like that bad but just at this stage of the game where we are these cards just have to be better if ea expect us to to want to go and grind these so it's really comes down to you're only doing those uh, objectives if you're truly a fan of the league or of the players that are inside of that league which i don't hate i'm just saying those squad foundation players all year have not seemed good well we got a random 50k pack while i was grinding some evolution squad battles so let's rip this for a fun point in the video we're getting an 84 rated pierre emil hoibierg that's just mid but that might allow me to do the 83 or 84 plus rttk plus trailblazer wow that was very mid okay and I'm not going to quick sell those because we're going to rinse those into upgrade packs for sure. Now, let's talk about the news today. Let's get back on track. We have big news from yesterday that relates to today in two different ways. Mbappe Player of the Month. It is confirmed as expected. He won the award. There was a nice little post by the EA Sports FC France. Again, it's not just tweeted by EA. It is confirmed by the official award rewarder, uh, UNFP. They tweeted out Mbappe is the winner. And as you can see, it says here, item available soon. And it doesn't give a rating on the card. SBC for this, guys. We're looking once again at next week is what it seems. It was not on the EA content tweet. For the League One Player of the Month, we got Bundesliga, but not League One shown here. We'll see whoever the Bundesliga Player of the Month is probably tomorrow. Maybe today, but probably tomorrow. But this is big news. Mbappe won the POTM. But the other situation is he's also going to be in Team of the Week today. Team of the Week Mbappe and a Player of the Month Mbappe. That's actually kind of exciting. And also when you look at this Team of the Week, this Team League looks kind of cracked. We'll take a look back at that in a second. If you think about Mbappe's card right now, he's going to be getting a 92 rated Team of the Week today, which then in turn could mean that his Player of the Month should be a 93. Need I use an example from earlier on this year? Jude Bellingham. 87 rated inform usually a player of the month is based off that player's most recent um, performance based special card and they get a plus one above that he went from an 87 inform to an 88 player of the month but is ea gonna do that with mbappe and release a 93 rated mbappe in november in this game that leaves people with a 93 rated striker card that they can probably craft although it would be greatly expensive it'd be so expensive is that what EA is going to do? Guys, in my opinion, I think they're going to keep Mbappe Player of the Month in 92. Now, we have a whole week to talk about this because, again, like I said, Mbappe POTM is not going to be out until next week unless EA do something crazy and change up what we think is their schedule for this week. Uh, I, I'm expecting Mbappe to be a 92 and not a 93, guys, because EA reserved the right to do whatever they want with the rating. And, of course, if it was going to be a 93, it'd have to be crazy expensive. It's already going to be crazy expensive. And after this was posted as Mbappe being the official winner, that higher-rated fodder, specifically the 89s, the 90s and 91 Kevin De Bruyne started to go up. Take a look at 90 rated cards like Lewandowski, 53,500 coins. He was 51K. The SBC or Player of the Month at Bappe being awarded the winner came out and he jumped instantly. People went out and started investing in these cards for sure, which is nice if you bought the higher rated. I think if you bought 89s and 90s or Kevin De Bruyne at 91 rated, I think you're fine to hold these cards even if you bought 88s which i bought a lot of i showed you guys my transfer list i still have almost all of those cards i've lazy sold a few but i still have most of them even if you have 88s that you bought at like twenty-three thousand coins 
it's probably okay to hold if you expect to do the SBC. And even if you're just investing and you don't want to worry about it, it's probably still fine to hold, uh, hold those cards. I don't imagine, especially with Mbappe coming, that these cards really go down that much. Now, what I'm kind of looking at here is a potential double dip situation. And I'm looking to maybe sell some of my 88s today. Wednesdays is usually a day, especially after content. After content on Wednesdays is usually a day where fodder ends up dropping off in price on the middle to low tier specifically. So I would watch out for, you know, 85s, maybe a little bit of 86s and some 84s. We could have a bit of a spike right after content as people go out again and do the 84 plus times three. That's going to refresh today. I'm still behind. Didn't do mine from yesterday. Got to do those. But this is going to refresh again. People will be interested in doing it. And also the RTTK or Trailblazers upgrade is going to refresh as well. So informs are going to be in demand once again. They might uh, a peak again and spike at content today. Same thing with like 82s, 83s, 84s. But then after that, it might be time to get out, especially on that low tier fodder, because I think it's going to drop into the rewards time frame. Every single Wednesday, it just seems that people like sell cards heading into the division rivals rewards. So watch out for that very closely. And that's one of the reasons why I'm thinking about selling some of my 88s, not the club stocked ones. Like I club stocked a bunch of 88s, 89s, and the 90s in my club, I'm keeping those. All that I'm selling is the excess fodder, in my opinion, because I want to have some coins. I think I would be able to use the coins and take the small profit on these 88s. I bought these at 23K, maybe selling them at 25, 26, probably right around 25, 750, or 26K. And I could use those coins to trade this weekend, make a bit before being able to buy that high rated fodder again at a price that is still good before we get the SBCs next week that could make it continue to go up. That's kind of my plan, a little double dip scenario. But if you're like, ah, I don't want to mess with it. I bought my fodder. I'm ready. It's going to keep rising. I agree with you. And that might be the smarter move, but to each their own, you know yourself and what you like to do in this game the best. I just wanted to kind of shout those potential scenarios that you could be having this week. So I think high rated fodder is a hold, but what I'm doing is playing the market a little bit more to my advantage, hopefully selling it at a decent price. And I, cause I think we'll be able to get back in on the weekend a little bit lower. The risk is that, you know, maybe a good icon SBC comes out. That's the top risk for uh, content today and for high rated cards. Like if they drop, I don't know, remember we were talking about Cantona potentially being that next icon SBC that is not confirmed. That is not a leak as of right now. We have no idea who this icon player SBC is, but that is like the last piece of the puzzle that could maybe make some high rated fodder move up. If it's a really good icon, maybe high rated fodder does go up a bit today and then we wouldn't be able to get that low price again on the weekend. So that's kind of the only risk that you have if you sell today to try to get back in on the weekend and do a little double dip scenario. Now, Wednesday content, as we mentioned, we have another icon SBC coming. I think it would be today, Thursdays. They usually keep Thursdays really quiet. So that's why I'm guessing today would either be the other icon player SBC that they have promised us, or we'll get that Sabitzer um, objective. No, the Sabitzer moments SBC. That's what it was. So Sabitzer moments, Bundesliga player of the month, theme team XP, and the icon upgrade SBCs are what we are still looking for. And of course, we're getting team of the week today as well. Just to look back at that team of the week league, Benzema, Mbappe, Rodrigo, Zinchenko, Arsenist, uh, some other solid players in here. I mean, especially the top tier, Benzema, Mbappe, Rodrigo, and Zinchenko. Those are going to be some nice cards. Anytime there's an Mbappe in Team of the Week, EA always try to go out and sell some packs as well. I checked the store right before I opened that last pack, which made me, of course, not able to check the store now since I have some cards of my unassigned and sitting there as duplicates. But I do not believe there's any new packs coming today because the 50 and the 100K packs their timers are still set to expire later on in the week on Friday. They're not set to expire today. That's one of the things I often look for to see if I expect new packs today on Wednesday, which is something I don't see in there. So maybe fodder won't drop off as much. Who knows? But we do have more SBC refreshes today. And if I had fodder on the lower tier, like I still have some 85s, I'm hoping the 85s have a bit of a spike today and I can sell with that spike before getting out before they go maybe a little bit lower and guys these cards they just continue to rise the triple threat cards carval hall is almost a hundred thousand coins crazy high from where he was kempembe is almost 600k cascarino almost 500 000 coins it's wild how much these cards have gone up from the weekend since when ea dropped those lightning rounds 
absolutely mental. Uh, so I guess GG's if you bought any of them on Monday because they just keep flying. The last thing I want to mention in today's video is there's maybe just eh, this much of a chance that we could get a new evolution today. I'm not expecting it 100% because, guys, there are a lot of of evolution still in here like the box the box midfielder we had you know nine more days eight more days to do that a couple objectives or uh, evolutions are expiring today trailblazer striker and trailblazer center back i gotta get these done asap which i'm not far away from doing it's gonna take a little bit of squad battles grind and a couple hopefully golden gold games in the evo lounge but those are going to be going away today, so maybe EA would replace it with a new evolution. Wednesdays have been evolution days before. As of right now, there are no leaks, but we will have to see. That's the video for today, guys. Hopefully, I want to see a good icon player SBC. I wouldn't be mad if fodder went up because we had a good icon SBC. I know a lot of you guys are invested. We're all here for a fodder rise, right? So EA, drop us a nice icon SBC today. And um, yeah, we'll see what else, if anything else, surprises us today for content. And again, I just want to put out a word of warning. Careful, careful with cards right now in this game because this weekend, I do believe prices are going to drop once again. In packs cards, out of pack cards, in form, stuff like that. Prices are defo going to drop this weekend because it is the last weekend before the big Black Friday promo coming next week so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new make sure you check out yesterday's double upload as well if you have not there's a really cool video there kind of sharing a little bit of more of the foot account and my story getting to this point as we just did surpass the 100,000 subscriber mark which is really really dope so make sure you check that out if you haven't but i'll see you guys in a twitch stream today it's been nate the foot account and catch you guys there peace out